Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Monica Examit and I'm a 2016 Olympic bronze medalist in the sport of fencing. Today I filmed a video for you guys of what I typically eat in a day, but before we get to that, um, for those of you that have been following me on Instagram and Twitter and so on, you've obviously seen my dogs because, I mean, come on, they're pretty awesome, <laughs> and I put them everywhere. Um, so, and you guys have been requesting to be seeing them in videos, so here is their guest appearance. There's Nala, they're both passed out, obviously, and Pongo, you know, I wish he would be friendly and come hang out, but he's asleep, which is also typical of him. But back to the point of it, this video, um, I posted my ab workout recently, which I'll link in the description down below if you haven't seen and you want to check it out. And you guys were asking me about what I'm eating throughout the day and how I'm, because obviously as we all know, you can't just be doing exercise and eating what, I, what you want and seeing the results that you're wanting. Um, a lot of like, a lot of people don't understand, but a six pack is a, a lot of the point, like I think 80% more or less is what you're eating. So obviously if you're going, if you, you can do, you know, a thousand sit-ups and go home and eat a bag of chips and then, I don't know, a burger and fries, you're not going to be seeing that six pack that you want. Um, so I'm sharing what I typically eat throughout the day. Obviously everybody's body type is different. I do a, a lot of working out, a lot of cardio. Um, I'm fencing, so what I'm eating might not necessarily be what you need to be eating, but this is something I've been working on for months. Again, everybody has different body type. My body type is that I put on muscle so easily that I really need to be careful what I'm eating. I can't be drink I can't be drinking, you know, a protein shake for every single meal because I'm going to start bulking up and that's something that I've learned throughout the years that I need to again adjust what I'm eating. So my my workout plan and eating plan might not be for you, but you guys are asking for it, so I'm more than willing to share it and hopefully you guys can pick up a trick or two and learn something new or at least learn some interesting facts about me. Um, so yeah, so definitely if you're interested in seeing all that, please stay tuned, please watch the video. If you enjoy the video and you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out, which I'm putting out every single Thursday at 3 p.m., hopefully I can stick to it throughout my training and throughout the years, but that is a plan. Um, I'm gonna stick to it, it's my 2018 resolution. So far, I'm doing good for week two. But uh, yeah, again, like I said, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out and you're enjoying these videos and you wanna see more, please subscribe, please join the family, um, please like, please comment, let me know what you're interested in because I'm sharing my information with you guys and I'd rather be putting out what you're interested in versus what I find interesting. So your comments definitely help me in the long run and for to put out stuff that you're, you wanna be seeing. So thank you again for watching yet another video. So I don't actually start off my morning off by drinking coffee. That is step two in my routine. But first I actually drink um, hot water with lemon. So I start off by turning on my electric tea kettle and then I take out a lemon and I cut it in half and I try to um, do something obviously while the water is boiling. So I just squeeze out that half a lemon into my Penn State glass to match my Penn State sweatshirt. And um, it's really good for your digestive system, system. And clearly, I'm not strong in the morning because I'm struggling to squeeze it out. But it's very good for your digestive system and for your metabolism. And um, yeah, actually, a lot of um, models actually start off by drinking it. So, you know, when you're trying to look like one of them, you should just Im imitate them. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I start off making my shake because I drink a shake every morning. Well, I guess we can't call it drinking. Um, I like to put it on the thicker side and pretend that I'm drink I'm eating a milkshake. Um, but I just break up an one entire banana into my um, Nutribullet cup. So I just blend it all together. And I take out my all my different things that I put into it, which I will link everything in the description below if you want to order it yourself. A lot of the stuff comes from Trader Joe's actually, um, which I basically just exist at Trader Joe's if anybody knows me. <laughs> so I pour a little bit of almond milk. To be honest, I have no idea how much I pour. I just 
use my eyes for it. And I've, I make it every morning, so I'm not going to be measuring it out. And then I put in um, some hemp protein. I like the chocolate. And it's I just use the serving, recommended serving size, and it's four tablespoons. I just scoop those all in there. And again, I'm going to just link everything in the description below. It's easier than obviously like describing to you everything that it is. But then I use um, ground up flax seeds, uh, also a tablespoon on there. They don't give you recommended serving size for it, but I usually just put in a tablespoon, occasionally a tablespoon and a half. Then I use uh, PB Fit because I love peanut butter, but it's obviously not good for you. So this is a little bit healthier and still gives me that taste of peanut butter so I can pretend that I'm eating it. <laughs> and then it's this super green um, powder where it has all different things like spirulina and spinach. Um, since I'm on the go a lot of the time, I don't really get to eat um, all the vegetables that I need to be, though I do eat them. That's predominantly what I eat now is vegetables. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a vegetarian, but I typically eat just vegetarian meals. Not to say that I won't go and eat a delicious burger every once in a while. And then I just cap it off. I throw it in the Nutribullet for a few seconds. Again, I don't really time it. I just, I just, it's a routine at this point, so I pretty much know when to stop. And then I drink my hot lemon water first. I finish that and then I will um, eat my shake with a spoon. Again, pretending to be that it's a milkshake and um, with my cup of coffee. I also burn my mouth drinking this because it was way too hot. And usually I wait <laughs> or put in some ice cubes. So that's me pretending that I'm going to drink it all. <laughs> Meanwhile, I went off and I put through it ice cubes right away. So typically after that, I would will finish my breakfast and I would go to the gym. Um, after the gym, I come home starving. So I prepare my lunch and at the same time I'm going to be preparing uh, my next meal of the day because I don't really have that much time in between gym and heading off to practice. So I'm preparing my dinner or second lunch, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is just uh, zucchini as well as butternut squash. I got this, I believe, at Aldi's, but I mean, you don't really need to have uh, it like this cut up. You can just cut it up on your own. This is just what I happen to have in my refrigerator, so that's what I used. And then you're going to be, you're going to all right, olive oil, of course. Can't have that burning. Um, and then I have it with um, a veggie burger, any kind will do. I just got a huge pack of Boca veggie burgers, which I really enjoy. I've used other brands, which are also pretty great. It doesn't make a real difference what kind. Whatever tastes good to you. And then I also have it with half an avocado, you need your fats. Um, and I just throw it all together. Also an important thing is drinking water. I typically try to drink three liters of water. I haven't been that great in the past with it, but I've been a lot better these past few months. So I always just have these liter bottles uh, with me and I just refill them and I drink them. So then to make my lunch, uh, I just, I have eggs. So I'm heating up oil in a pan while I cut up a quarter of a pepper. Obviously wanted to make sure you take out all the seeds and all the stuff you don't want to be eating and you just slice it up or dice it up, whichever you prefer. I just go with slices since it's easier to eat. But I try to have, oh, there you go. And you see my dog, obviously. Pongo's sitting around waiting and hoping he gets some, some scraps. But I typically eat um, four to five meals a day. It's I eat them every few hours. 
I need to have the energy levels for training at the gym and training fencing practice. Um, and then like, as I mentioned, I, I commute to practice. I have an hour long train ride for the time being. So I prepare my lunches and dinners and stuff. And I eat on the train on the way to practice and on my way back home. Along with my pepper, I cut up two mushrooms. Obviously got to clean them. You don't want to be eating dirt. That's not fun. So again, I'm just slicing up my mushrooms. You again, you can dice them up if you prefer. I just prepare. I just prefer to slice them. But it's whatever preference that you have. Obviously, my professional chef skills out here for you guys. And then, as I mentioned, I prepare my avocado, throw it in my to go container so that I can take it to practice and not starve to death. So, I to make it funnier, I always try to do this since everyone seems to do that on Instagram videos and different cooking shows and I could never take out the seed with the knife and I managed to do it today. My tripod broke so you can't see my face but I was so excited about it because again, I went for it and I expected to fail but to my surprise, it actually worked for once. So I just scoop it out of the skin and then throw it in my to-go to container. Uh, then I'm just going to throw in um, my prepared meal. I set the oven to 355 and I just let it bake for 15 minutes. Um, but you're obviously going to, if you're cutting it up and it's on the thicker side, you're going to want to be paying attention to it. And then here I am preparing my eggs. So I throw in my pepper first. I let that cook. A little bit obviously this takes longer than the mushrooms after you cook it for a little bit uh, you throw in the mushrooms again let those cook for a little bit I like to have obviously a lot of vegetables so I can stay full longer and then I throw in two handfuls of spinach since I'm not eating red meat um, I need my iron So I just have them frozen in the freezer so they don't go bad. And then I threw in two egg whites. I didn't film that part because it's not very easy to be cracking open eggs and separating the whites from the yolks, as it also isn't easy to be moving scrambled eggs into a plate from a pan with only one hand. So hence my gracefulness, as usual. <laughs> So at that point, um, I also like to throw in goat cheese sometimes. I have such a weakness for it. So I indulge. This is also one that I got from Aldi. Um, I, there's another great one from Trader Joe's. Um, then when after your 15 minutes are up, I take out my meal. I let that cool down before putting it in my plastic container because obviously I don't want that to melt. And then I, on my way to practice, I have a bunch of salads always ready from, well, these are from Trader Joe's and they just have roasted butternut squash and rennet quinoa and wheat berry and they keep me pretty full. So that's really what does it. So then I would put the rest of my stuff into my container and then off I go to practice. <laughs> 